In this section, you will learn how to set up the tank and deliver oxygen. Pediatric Home Service has six tank sizes, from very large non-portable to small portable tanks. Your Pediatric Home Service clinician will determine the tank size after reviewing your doctor's orders, your child's activity level, and home setup. Let's get familiar with the parts of an oxygen tank by first looking at the regulator. A regulator has two parts, a pressure gauge and a flow meter. The flow meter controls and measures the amount of oxygen flowing from the tank. It measures the flow in liters per minute. Your doctor determines the oxygen flow setting to use. The pressure gauge measures PSI, or pounds per square inch, to display how much oxygen is left in the tank. A full tank reads with the gauge needle resting between 1800 and 2200 PSI. Here is how to prepare a tank for use. Before setting up and changing out a tank or oxygen tubing, make sure your child is breathing comfortably on another oxygen source. Also, always remember to wash your hands. Start by removing the tape or plastic wrap covering the oxygen outlet. Remove and set aside the plastic washer. You are now ready to open the tank, allowing oxygen to blow out any dirt or dust that may damage the regulator or cause a spark. To open the tank, position the side with the three holes away from yourself and others. To open the tank, you will use either a hand wheel or this specially designed wrench. Turn the tank's valve in a counterclockwise direction. You will hear a very loud hissing as the oxygen blows out any dirt or dust. After a few seconds, close the tank by turning the wrench clockwise, returning the valve to the off position. Be careful not to over-tighten this valve. Only use the special wrench as other tools may damage the valve. You are now ready to attach the regulator. Attaching the regulator requires using one metal sealing washer, not the plastic washer. If the metal sealing washer is damaged or missing, use your spare. If you can't find your spare, and this is a one-time emergency situation, use the plastic washer. If you use the plastic washer, call Pediatric Home Service right away to get more metal sealing washers. Align the pins of the regulator to the three holes on the tank. Hand tighten the regulator into place, being careful not to over tighten. With the regulator securely attached, slowly turn the tank on. Rotate one complete turn counterclockwise. If you hear a hissing sound while opening the tank, immediately turn off the tank by turning the wrench or hand wheel clockwise. Try troubleshooting a hissing sound by retightening the regulator. Then slowly turn the tank on. If you still hear a hissing sound, immediately shut off the tank, remove the regulator, and check to make sure the metal sealing washer is positioned correctly. Then retighten the regulator and slowly open the tank. If the hissing sound is still heard, immediately shut off the tank and try another tank. If you still hear a hissing noise, immediately turn off the tank and call Pediatric Home Service. When the tank is turned on and working properly, the pressure gauge needle should be resting between 1800 and 2200 PSI. You will now set the oxygen flow on the regulator as ordered by your doctor. Never use the flow adjustment knob or dial to turn oxygen on or off. When turning off a tank, make sure to flush out the remaining oxygen in the regulator. To speed up this flushing, usually for a regulator set at a very low flow, you could turn up the dial on the flow meter to allow more oxygen to flush out. A tank is turned off when the pressure gauge needle drops to zero. Make sure you have enough oxygen on hand by using the flow charts in your Pediatric Home Service Patient Handbook on Oxygen. These flow charts can help you estimate how much oxygen is left in a tank based on the flow setting used. To calculate, go to the flow chart that matches your child's tank size. Look at the pressure gauge needle and read the PSI value. Find this value in the top column 
Then find your child's leader flow value in the left column. The intersection of these two columns provides an estimate of how long the oxygen in your child's tank should last. Your child also needs to have enough backup oxygen. You will work with your pediatric home service clinician and service specialist to make sure your child's backup oxygen needs are met. With the tank set up, you are now ready to connect your child's nasal cannula, simple mask, extension tubing, or, if needed, an inline adapter. Whenever you set up or change out equipment or tubing, you need to do a leak test to make sure your child receives their doctor-ordered flow of oxygen. To perform this leak test, set the flow as prescribed, block off the end of the cannula or extension tubing for a few seconds, then release. You should feel and hear a burst of oxygen. Go to the section Oxygen Connections to learn more.